Welcome to Lab 11. We're configuring passwords on Catalyst, Catalyst switches. We're going to look at a couple of ways to do this, and I just wanted to show you a little trick, really. Um, this is just an enable password, but I wanted to show you how you can incorporate question marks in your password because the Cisco iOS will think you're asking for a question, or you're asking a question and need help if you hit the question mark. Now this won't work on Packet Tracer. I've got a Packet Tracer open to the right there so I need to get to a live switch. And we're going to look at the password encryption uh, service command also as we go along. So obviously we, we're looking to pr protect enable mode here. We don't normally use enable passwords, we use enable secret passwords if anything. But I just thought I'd show you this anyway. So I've tried to press a question mark. It thinks I'm um, going into uh, long configuration so I held down the uh, control key as indicated in the um, requirement control and V and then it let me put the question mark in now uh, by default no, no service password encryption is turned on if I just issue the show run so no service password encryption there so it's not trying to encrypt the password now I know it says in the lab to actually issue that command but it's on by default. So you can see the password is actually shown in plain text because it's not an enabled secret password. So I can issue the uh, service password dash encryption and it's got a really low level of encryption. There's free programs on the internet will crack these low level encryption algorithms. You can see it has encrypted it. The 7 means it's a level 7 which is a low level encryption. Now um, as I went on I thought I could actually decrypt it by issuing the no service password encryption command but it looks like it doesn't actually unencrypt the password that's been encrypted already. But I'll show you how to turn it back onto the default setting which is no service password dash encryption. You can see the password still encrypted there. But um, yeah that's the end of the lab. Again you need to use a live switch or router to practice these commands because otherwise it won't work. Uh, thanks for watching and on to the next lab.